All right, it's uh, day 21, 30 day cardio challenge. And for today, I'm gonna go live on this here lovely spin bike on Instagram. Every year I start the summer out by doing a 30 day cardio challenge. This year, unfortunately, I broke my femur in April. So, my cardio challenge is gonna look a little different personally. I want you guys to join me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want you to show me what you're doing. 30 minutes a day of cardio for 30 days. Let's go. Hey guys, we are live, dealing with some slow internet connection problems here, but it looks like some folks are watching. Hey guys. Uh, I am doing my 30 minutes of cardio for my 30, 30 day cardio challenge right this moment. Dang it. Does it keep going out? Yeah, let's try it with uh... Are you still alive or does it keep going out? It's paused due to poor connection. There we go. All right, I'm back from that momentary break. Uh, I'm doing my 30 day minutes, 30 minutes in this 30 day cardio challenge uh, live today. So I'm spinning on the bike but I would like to take the opportunity for each of you or whoever wants to, to ask me some questions and I'll be answering as I go and trying to get a workout at the same time. So thanks for tuning in. I have my picturesque spin bike location out here on my deck in my backyard pretty awesome also Justin may or may not be right there capturing this for the vlog on YouTube so uh, if you ask me a good question any of you who can hear me on audio if you ask me a good question you very well might be featured on the vlog on YouTube tomorrow so well we're gonna launch it later tonight but <laughs> what would be the ideal workout for a freestyle skier in the off season Ooh, that kind of depends. Here's a long answer to a short question. That kind of depends on um, what part of the off season it's in. Usually in May and June, I personally spend a lot of time not skiing, uh, riding my mountain bike, running, hiking. Uh, I do a little bit of bow hunting, you know, flinging arrows, flinging arrows out on the archery range. Just some things that kind of separate me from skiing a little bit because it's good to have that hunger. It's good to be excited about skiing again. And uh, so that's kind of where I start. But then um, I think really the best thing that you can do for skiing is jump on the trampoline. Jump on the trampoline, uh, slack line is another good one. Uh, just do things that relate to skiing but are different because it's, it's good to build all kinds of muscles. Obviously, if you get a chance, to spend a bunch of time in the weight room, it's good. It's good to be over, over prepared, uh, better than being under prepared. If you're a little stronger than you feel like you need to be, that's probably gonna be a good start to the season because once you start traveling around and skiing a bunch, you're, you're inevitably gonna um, deteriorate a little bit. Parker Smith wants to know what my favorite 30 minute cardio workout I've done so far has been. That's a really tough question to answer. There's been some good ones. Um, I've learned a lot of lessons. I would say my biggest dose of humility was getting my ass handed to me by John on the hand cycle because he was so much stronger than I was. Um, I learned to respect the cold water when I tried to swim in the Truckee River without a wetsuit. And, but my favorite, I think my favorite might have been, I think my favorite was the kayaking experience. Trying to paddle up river in the kayak was first of all pretty much impossible, but also pretty fun to try. Any Nevada tags this year? That's a great question, yes. Uh, I drew a deer tag and a cow elk tag. Pretty hyped about that. Gonna be out there chasing stuff with my bow in the uh, in their late summer, early fall. So, hyped about that. 
Um, a to you, see you you, Takahashi. I probably just butchered your name. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's how you got hurt on the trampoline in the first place. Yeah, that does happen. Every action sport comes with risk, right? You uh, inevitably might break yourself off. Um, but I would say if you're trying to get ready for, if you're trying to learn your body and where you're at in space and um, figure, all, figure all your air awareness out, the trampoline is one of the best things you can do for sure. Do my kids try to join in on my workouts? Almost every time. Uh, certainly when I'm riding my bike especially, the kids are very keen to join in on those ones. It's actually perfect because uh, my pace on the, I've been riding the unicycle quite a bit, and my pace on the unicycle is almost exactly the same as Malachi's pace on his bike. So that makes for some good family bike crew stuff. Lowlands Knives, I'll, I hope to see you out there too. Did you draw any tags? Josh on the summit wants me to keep hammering. I certainly will try. Hello, no Notorious BLT. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. All 10 of you who are watching, I appreciate you taking some time out of your day. How long have we been going for here? I didn't start my timer. <laughs> uh, Approximately five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Archery deer, what area? There, Mr. Lowland's knives. I won't I won't put that part on the vlog, but I'm curious to know. Um yeah, mine are out mine are out in central Nevada. Pretty excited about that. We should have had some people give questions ahead of time. Yeah. So that we had some stuff to talk about. You can uh, tell them to hit the bottom thing and they can submit questions. They're all just doing it through the comments. Mm -hmm. That works too. If you guys want to be fancy, you can hit the little question button down there and then they pop up on my screen bigger where I, where I can read them a little better. Uh, my next trip is actually going to be to Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm shooting the Organization of Professional Archers tournament with Paul Tedford uh, at Seven Springs. So I'm pretty excited about that. That is my next, uh, that's my next trip. My next skiing trip is probably not going to be till September, going over to Sospe, Switzerland, because I'm still recovering from this uh, this broken femur. Nice. Well, I'll keep watching for uh, I'll keep watching for questions, but. But since there's a little bit of a lull, I'm just going to tell you some stories from the 30 day cardio challenge so far. Uh, let's see, starting with day one, uh, I think, was day one the first day I rode my bike? What do we do for day one? I can't remember. I can't even remember. <laughs> we just did that little edit. Um, but I try to do something unique every day. Then here's a funny story for you. Um, I really wanted to track down one of those, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen these. It's like a recumbent bike, like you would have in a hotel gym, but it's the outdoor version. So <laughs> I threw it out there on Instagram, I actually threw it out on Facebook uh, for, for people to hit me back if they had one, because I just wanted to borrow it for a day, because it's just part of the 30 day cardio challenge. And somebody wrote me back like, oh yeah, I have one. And so I was hyped, I went over to pick it up and they had misread my post or maybe I just didn't do a good job posting explicitly about the fact that I wanted an outdoor recumbent bike. So they're like, here it is. And it was literally something very similar to what I'm on right now. So that was a pretty good, that was a good, pretty good cardio experience. My favorite thing about the cardio challenge so far has been that I have literally spent zero dollars on the cardio challenge. I rode my unicycle. Well, actually I rode Ziggy's unicycle, I should say. Borrowed Ziggy's unicycle. 
Uh, found my old rollerblades in the back corner of the garage. Um, borrowed John's hand cycle. Uh, Ziggy's, Ziggy's kayaks. So, I haven't had to pay money for anything just yet. Oh, actually, I did. I rented a I rented a paddleboard up in Bend. So I'm 30 bucks in cardio challenge. Um, you guys, if you if you watch the YouTube series at all, you probably would have seen uh, the day that I tried to go. Uh, the day that I tried to swim in the river with my, I thought I could make it for nine minutes. I rode 20 minutes, 21 minutes on the bike and I thought I could make it for nine minutes. This is back when the river was like 45 degrees. It's like 55 now, but I thought I could ride, I thought I could swim for nine minutes against the current without falling or without freezing my butt off. And uh, turns out I was extremely wrong. I made it for about a minute and a half and I got so, my body's, my cardiovascular system slowed down so much that I couldn't even keep up with the current. Like, I was trying to be mentally tough and just keep going, but it was just not gonna happen. So then I took like a 30 second break, ah, like a minute and a half break, got back in, swam again, got out, took a break, got back in, swam again. And by the third session, I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to go basically anymore at all. And then uh, after that, <laughs> Justin and I decided it was time to wrap it up before we got true hypothermia. And then when I tried to do the wrap up of the whole vlog, I was like, I literally couldn't speak. I was slurring my words, I was shivering. It took me like a day and a half uh, to even get back. I'm not, not a day and a half. It took me like a half hour to get back. It's hard to answer questions <laughs> while working out. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is a little awkward for you guys. Man, my train of thought is all over the place. All right, we got a question popping up. I did, in fact, break my femur. Uh, I'm seven weeks out now, and it still hurts. It still hurts a lot, but uh, it's getting better each day. Being able to do things like this has been very helpful for me because that way, I can at least, I don't know, I, I can keep my sanity. And that's part of why I committed to, uh, my filmer Justin and I, we were planning on doing this cardio challenge project anyway, uh, before I broke my femur. But after I broke my femur, it was almost more important to do it. Because then, like I said, I, would, I knew I would stay active and uh, keep after it, keep, stay healthy. And it's been fun for me to try to figure out unique types of cardio to do um, like the boxing day that was probably boxing was probably my favorite one so far I choose happiness says I should go up the mountain and snowshoe I'm not sure how much snow we have left no I know squaws actually still open so I could probably do that that is not a bad idea people want to see the view around me if there is one I'm not gonna give you too much of a view because I don't want you to know exactly where my house is. But it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice out here. It's like 65 degrees right now. It's perfect. It's perfect spin biking outdoor weather. Yeah, it was my, uh, it was my first time ever boxing and it was a blast. Plus really hard. It was a good humbling experience because I've like been in a couple fights throughout my life, but I had no idea how bad I was at throwing left-handed punches. So obviously, uh, I had to learn that and definitely humbling, but super fun. I can tell there's still a crap load of snow up there. Uh, I choose happiness because the river by my house is still absolutely roaring so the snow must be up there and still melting at a fast rate because it's crushing i've been honestly i'll be honest with my femur break i've been avoiding looking at how much snow there is up there and i've been sort of skipping past everybody's posts when they're shredding because it uh just makes me sad 
I really want to ski right now, but I obviously can't with the old, the old broken femur, broken Oberschenkel, as they say in Austria. Bernsey 23 could probably put up a better left-handed thumb wrestle than, than a left-handed <laughs> punch. That's probably true. I have skiers thumb, so my sister Christy is really into, uh, she's really into thumb wrestling. It's like one of her favorite things to do, and we've, we've been thumb wrestling since we were kids. So every time she comes home, we thumb wrestle. And I would say that we're pretty even but when she does pin my thumb, it really hurts because I have such bad skier thumbs. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but the uh, the joints in my thumb like to like to wander around a little bit. So whenever she actually gets me in a thumb wrestle, it really hurts. Oh, dude, my uh, phone is on low low power mode. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, they call it a broken, they call it a Urfemur, the Oberschenkel, not in Australia, in Austria, the German speaking version. So I'm sure they call it that in Germany as well, but I can't confirm that. Oh, what's up darts? Simon, what are you up to these days? I'm just out here spinning on the bike trying to answer questions. We are uh, 15 minutes in. <laughs> Approximately 15 minutes into this cardio challenge day. Uh, I haven't gotten my heart rate up above, oh, let's see. I haven't gotten it above 100, 100 yet, so I need to start pedaling harder, which is gonna make it my chance to make my ability to answer questions even worse, but that's okay. You guys are a good, you guys are a good uh, friendly audience, I can tell. Lowlands Knives wants to know, do I only archery hunt or just prefer it? I'm happy to answer uh, hunting questions because that's definitely my, either my favorite or second favorite thing to do with my time. Uh, I definitely prefer archery hunting, but I am an opportunist. I'll hunt with a shotgun, I'll hunt with whatever. Whatever I can, whatever I can chase, I will. Uh, certainly enjoy archery the most because to me it's the most in tune with nature. It sort of gives the animals a little bit more of a chance. Um, and I just love shooting a bow too. Bow sh shooting a bow to me is almost meditative. Like you got to slow your heart rate down. You got to you got to relax. Relax, being relaxed and focused at the same time. That's what I love about shooting a bow. So obviously that makes the hunting aspect that much more fun. <sighs> what up Simon? Simon D'Artois says I'm killing it. Uh, I, I disagree, but I appreciate the props. Bruh, I can't even run and talk at the same time. I don't know how you do this while biking. I'd be RIP dead. Well, I'm not biking, I'm just spin biking. So, I could make it look really exciting though, like I'm like on a mountain bike. How's that, guys? This tree is chasing me. It's drafting me. Are you guys bored of me yet? People have been dropping in, dropping out. If I had to give up hunting or skiing, which sport would I choose and don't choose cycling? That's a great question. Might be my favorite question so far. Um, I'm gonna cheat on this question a little bit because I've already had a giant long career in skiing and been able to accomplish a lot. And, uh, so I might choose hunting, I don't know. That's a good question, I'll, I'll have to think that through. Skiing, skiing definitely pays the bills, but uh, hunting puts food on the table. So it's kind of a cool multifaceted lifestyle that I have. If I had to choose one or the other though, that'd be a really difficult thing. I'll get back to you on that one.
Should I go live with you, mm -hmm. Justin? No. What does that mean? Sorry guys, I'm a little, uh, I'm not a social media expert. I'm just a skier. Um, I declined that. <laughs> I'm not going live with you, bro. But we should have done that with Dart. That would have been good. To go live with Dart. That would have been fun. Oh, yeah. That's true. Because then it's like split, split screen. Yeah. And people can see what he's doing, too. Yeah. All right. Well. My favorite wild game meal. Uh, I mean, there's the easiest thing. I think to cook is just doing back straps on the Traeger. That's so simple and always elegant, always delicious. Uh, but lately, Remy's been getting me into uh, like doing whole shank roasts and shoulder roasts and stuff. And that's really unique for me because I used to always, I, I butcher all my own meat and I used to always put that stuff in the grind. And now that I'm doing these whole roasts, man, they're so good. So that's kind of unique. Atsuyu says to get with the program, I thought you were one of the cool kids. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I am not, in fact, one of the cool kids. I'm just a nerd who likes to ski. Um, going back to filling some time with some stories, uh, the behind the scenes stuff that you guys didn't quite see, uh, we did one day of kayaking where uh, we tried to we tried to paddle up river. My whole grand goal was to paddle way up river for the first half hour for the 30 minutes of the cardio challenge and then just drift back down. And uh, well, that didn't go so good. We launched two boats. Justin was there to film me and I was there to paddle really hard. And pretty much as soon as we got into the current, uh, I looked down and Justin was <laughs> just drifting off into the abyss, like at kind of an alarming rate. And I was like, Justin, you gotta get to the side, man. The, there's a rapid right below you. Uh, so anyways, both Justin and I tried to paddle upstream, didn't go good. And eventually I just had to tell Justin to get out and film me from the shore because it was too complicated trying to paddle and film at the same time. So that's how that went. It was pretty exciting. I think I made it about maybe 150 yards up river in a half an hour. And basically I would just paddle as hard as I could and then pull off to the side and then paddle as hard as I could and then pull off to the side again. Uh, GG Colin wants, Coggins wants to know, is a trigger worth it? I'm debating on pulling the trigger. Uh, I can say like a couple things about Traeger grills. They are easily the best investment you can make on the grill side of things because at the end of the day, like there's a lot of great ways to cook meat and there's a lot of great ways to pull it off, but the consistency that you'll get coming off the Traeger, the quality and consistency is like, it's unreal. I haven't, I haven't messed anything up on it yet except one time I tried to I tried to smoke a turkey for Thanksgiving last year and I thought I had turned it on to warm mode but it turns out I had just left it on at like I don't know 200 degrees and I just dried the turkey out it still tasted good we still use it for sandwich meat and stuff but that's the only thing I messed up on since I got this thing there's the Traeger right over there and it's a little it's it's taking a little nap ruski over there uh, Cristiano Lover Idol says, what's up, my, David, my name is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you hanging out with me here. Yeah, upriver was not fun at all. Jasmine says she loves my skiing. Thank you. I love doing it, so I appreciate you tuning in. And Justin is spouting nonsense and fallacies <laughs> over there. <laughs> Don't look at what he says. It's not, it's irrelevant. What? What are the states I've been skiing at? Ooh, that's a good little trivia question. Let's go from the top. Montana, Idaho, uh, Washington, 
California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, uh, Oregon, New Mexico, Oregon, um, Vermont, um, let's see, where else? Maine. Um, I've never actually skied at Seven Springs, so I can't count Pennsylvania. I think that's pretty close. And I've never skied Alaska either. So yeah, my, my 11 there are uh, mostly West Coast states. Gigi Coggins, is Japan worth going to for a ski trip? If you're gonna do any overseas ski trip, uh, I really don't think you can go wrong with going to Japan, especially in like February, March, or like mid-February. It's always snowing there. The culture is awesome. The food is delicious. Definitely highly recommend it. Thanks for, thanks for your questions, man. You got some banger questions. Um, let's see. I used to, uh, Burnsy23 says I used to ski Vermont all the time growing up. Yeah, I used to compete there all the time too. We used to have dew tours on the East Coast, uh, the Vermont Open. Man, there was always, this, there was a bunch of banger events in the East, but that's kind of gone away lately. Let's bring it back. Let's have more contests in the East. I want to go back. What tips do I have for new skiers? That's a great question. Um, the easiest thing I would say is it's really easy to focus on sort of like when you get into skiing, it's really easy to focus on the things that you can't do. Sort of focus on the negatives like, oh, I can't make those turns or those jumps are too big for me or whatever. But if you just focus on the incremental progress, like just getting a little better each day, uh, you'll never like who knows how far you can get. I would say that I was never the most talented kid growing up. I was never like a phenom that everybody was like, oh, he's gonna go somewhere. But I just didn't ever stop getting better. I just kind of kept kept after it, kept going. And uh, here we are, a couple of, uh, couple of great contest seasons later. Darren Marsh uh, wants me to chat about how Exercising after injury can make you recovery so much easier. I could not agree more. Uh, it keeps you healthy both in mind and body. And if you think about healing an injury, like two of two, there are two things that are of utmost importance when you're injured, especially with a bone injury like I have. Uh, number one being nutrition, and number two being blood circulation. Like you want to eat if you've never eaten healthy in your life but you've sustained an injury you want to commit yourself for the next couple months to eating the healthiest you ever have because your body's rebuilding those cells and the better quality ingredients your body has to draw on the faster you're going to recover so yeah super high protein diet really good um, complex carbohydrates uh, for me, I've been eating almost exclusively game meat on the protein side, and it's just been super healthy. So, yeah, definitely focus on, on the nutrition side. And then, whatever it is you're injured, whatever it is you have injured, you still have a bunch of other body parts that you can use to keep your heart rate, keep your heart pumping, and get a little bit of a workout uh, for this 30-day cardio challenge. Obviously, my limitations with my broken femur are pretty significant. So I can't run, I can barely hike. Um, I'm kind of stuck with the cycling sports and the upper body sports. But that's been kind of fun for me is to like try a bunch of new things that I've never done before, like boxing and kayaking and paddle boarding. And, and it's not bow hunting season, it's mountain biking season. Those are my three sports. Those are what I focus my attention on. And I can't really hammer downhill trails right now on my mountain bike. And I definitely can't run and I definitely can't ski, so I've had to focus on some other things to do. Burnsy wants to know if I golf. 
and thinks that I seem an average Joe golfer. I would say I'm even less than an average Joe golfer, but I tell you, when my femur's not broken, I can hit an impressively long, very zigzaggy drive. Uh, I grew up playing baseball my whole life, so certainly I have a lot of club head speed, but not a lot of control. But I'm working on that. Um, I definitely like golf. It's a good mental sport for sure. Ooh, we got some questions in the little questions tab. Favorite ski trick uh, on jumps will I'll probably always be a backflip just because you can do it on any jump. You can do it in the backcountry. You can do it on flat ground if you're a badass. You can do it anywhere and it always feels good. But in half pipe, Alley Platsman 5 is definitely my favorite. That was the first trick I ever learned and I still try to find a way to sneak it into my runs if I can. Any hidden talents other than skiing? Uh, yeah, I am a decent archer. I don't know if that's a talent or a skill. Um, what else do I have talents at? Unicycle. Oh, I can ride a unicycle. I'm down to 10% battery power. This is uh, kind of exciting. Hey, I got that 10 foot uh, charger in the living room in there. <laughs> and a, and a, uh, and an extension cord <laughs> so that we don't lose we can't we can't go off live before the cardio challenge is up uh, thank you guys for uh, listening to me ramble this has been kind of fun you have kept my attention away from the fact that I'm exercising on a spin bike I'm not really that into uh, I'm not really that into stationary bikes because they don't seem that fun uh, Mar <clears throat> Martian Contractor says thanks, uh, props to Reno, thanks for spreading the love, and I'm an inspiration. No, you're an inspiration, man. And uh, definitely all my heart to the Reno area. Uh, born and raised here, been all over the world, lived in some other places, and I've always found that this is the best place to live. So. It's easy for me to prop Reno up because it really has always been amazing. Got a bug on my neck. What's that? You have like a portable power, or it looks like the plate in it. Oh yeah, I was gonna have you. <laughs> but we're we're close enough to wrapping up. It's cool. That was gonna say. Yeah, one, another five minutes. Cascade Joe wants to go mule deer hunting, muley hunting in NorCal. Absolutely, man. That's uh, something I have not done yet. I didn't draw any California tags this year. I put in, but I didn't draw anything. Did you draw anything, Cascade? Um, story time. Let's see what else. What else is interesting happened on this cardio challenge? Uh, well, somewhere in the early part of the cardio challenge, one of the screws in my femur broke. So that was really unfortunate. Um, I have a rod in my femur, and it was pinned in place. And uh, through the through just basically walking on it, my body compression fractured the little screw. So I woke up one day and my leg was massively swollen, even more swollen than it would normally was. So that was kind of unfortunate, but um, talked to two different doctors about it and they both said it's gonna be all right. It's part of the part of the game. Favorite mountain to ski in Colorado. Ooh. That's a great question. That's tough. Man, I would say, gosh, Silverton's awesome. Telluride is super fun. Steamboat is super fun. Vail on a day when it's not crowded is amazing because it's massive. Uh, definitely some of the like some of the touring access or sled access terrain on Vail Pass. Although that's not really a resort, so that doesn't really count. The terrain parks 
at Keystone, pretty unbeatable. And the half pipe at Breck is uh, one of my favorites. So I didn't answer your question at all because I just said like five, but those are my favorite five. How many injuries have I had? I've had, let's see, I've done my, I've had two ACL re reconstructions and this femur, those are my only surgical injuries. And then I've broken my collarbone, but I didn't have to get surgery. And I separated both AC, AC joints. You can see my collarbone likes to go up and down of its own accord. Did I ever think of switching careers when I became a dad? It certainly crossed my mind and actually right before my daughter Nyla was born right before I ever won any major contests. And so the bank account was getting kind of thin and I had a wife and a daughter dependent on me and my career now. And so there was, it certainly crossed my mind that maybe I should you know, move on and do something, do something more grown up. Uh, but I think I realized at the end of the day, like I was made to ski and I was made to seek adventures and I wasn't gonna be able to, I wasn't gonna be able to live with myself if I didn't try. So I decided to, I decided to go for one more year and give everything I had. And luckily that was the year I won X Games. So that was kind of the beginning of it all. Have I been to Crested Butte? I have not been to Crested Butte, which is sad to say because one of my good buddies, Aaron Blunk, lives there, but I've never been. But it's on my list. Don't you worry, I'll get there. Lowlands Knives is gonna hunt snowcock in the rubies in October. That's That sounds like an adventure I might need to tag along for that sounds awesome all right guys i am going to wrap it up that is more than 30 minutes and you guys have been an awesome audience i appreciate you listening to me ramble and asking me good questions and uh i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and i strongly recommend if you haven't started it already do this 30-day cardio challenge with me it's just 30 minutes a day and you can do whatever you want whatever you feel like in your heart counts as cardio just do it for 30 days in a row and you won't regret it. I feel amazing. I'm at day 21 and it's awesome. So definitely join me on that. Catch you guys later. That was interesting. That was cardio challenge day 21. And uh, I certainly did a pretty mediocre job of answering questions, but at least people stuck around and asked me some good questions. and. Uh, if nothing else, I got my 30 minutes of cardio in. Uh, I might stay and pedal on the bike really hard for like another 10 minutes because I don't feel like I actually got to work out. But uh, yeah, it was fun. fun, fun to do. And any of you guys who are watching this video on YouTube, uh, if you throw me a question, I will actually shout you out and answer your question on tomorrow's vlog. So there you go, a little incentive. Throw me some comments, throw me some love, and uh, you know, like and subscribe and all those things that the YouTubers tell you to do. Do that stuff. Thanks guys.